so next I want, I, I apologize, it's taking me so long to get this up a week later than I would have liked, but um, the website is almost all up. The rest will be up this afternoon once I finish uploading the, the readings and stuff. But I just want to um, announce this to you guys before I send you guys all the link. And so I'll send you guys a link. I'm also going to have all of you be um, authors on this blog. So we'll, um, we're going to start, this is an experiment this semester, but we've used Scoop It in the past as our, our main place to share uh, news clippings and just, you know, kind of um, coastal, coastal goings on kind of stuff. Right? So we're all staying abreast of what's going on. We're going to try this experiment here. So we won't start this until next week because I still need to get it ready and need to make sure everybody's up, up and, and good. But I will be, you'll be getting an email later today on your email address, your preferred email address, if it wasn't, if it wasn't your CSUCI.edu one um, that you gave me. If, if you guys have not filled out that little um, uh, uh, Google form thing um, that I sent out, I don't know, a week and a half ago or what have you, uh, you can get with me before we, before we disappear today and we'll talk about it. But um, you guys will be getting an email. It's going to have your password and your, and your name and you guys are going to be able to add stuff uh, in, in here. Again, I need a little more, need to give you a little more background before you just start doing it. And so we'll, we'll do that either uh, on um, uh, Wednesday or next week. But just, just so you know, we're, we're trying this out. We're trying to make this be our default place to both share data. And if it goes, if all that stuff goes well, maybe by mid semester, we'll try having you guys upload documents and stuff here too. And if, for example, reading summaries and stuff, but that's, that's to be determined. So this is our website. It's uh, coastal, again, I'll email this to you later, but it's coastal.piratelab.org. Let's take a quick, quick look at what this site looks like. Um, this is a responsive one, so it should work fine on your phone. It should work fine on your uh, uh, iPad or what have you. If it doesn't, um, you know, try it a couple times, but if it doesn't, let me know. And, and I want to know if this is not a, you know, if something isn't working or it doesn't work well on one platform or another, but it, it, it should. Home is where you guys should all go to initially. And this is me setting it up and screwing, screwing around with stuff. So ignore these things for now. I'll, I'll delete these before we go live, fully live. But um, this is where I want you guys to land. And so this is where I'll put announcements and stuff like that. So these, these next couple weeks as we're just getting up to speed with this and I need to hear back to make sure it's working for everyone first. So I'll keep sending you guys announcements over email and this and that. But once this is up and running, this is where all the announcements will be. So if you guys have a question as to what's going on, what time we're meeting, uh, you know, some update on some assignment or whatever, look here first. And this is the first place to check. So check that first and then if you don't have the answer, then you can reach out to me and, and, and see if you can figure it out. Um, we have a little welcome page. It just sort of tells you about stuff. We have our syllabus, um, a roadmap with stuff to do, uh, resources, um, uh, you know, stuff like that. So, so the thing I'll just point out is these things we'll, we'll talk about uh, as we get to them. But for example, the general resources, uh, actually, no, sorry, I moved, I moved that stuff. So I moved a lot of that stuff to skills. So skills are things you guys should start to check out. And these are going um, to be how to things. And so one thing that uh, I tried to spend a good amount of time in, in tweaking and make, making more useful is this, for example, note taking one, and I'll be adding more as, we, as the semester goes on, but suggestions for how you guys can be uh, better note takers. And so these are skills based things. There's links down here to, to help you with stuff. In some cases there might be some video based skill training to show you guys, like for example, Plotly, which is still coming up online. Oh, yep, see there's no video there, yep. Um, that kind of stuff. The news is where we'll start sharing, I'll start posting news stories, and you guys will start posting news stories. I'd like you guys to check the news section at least twice a week. Um, it'd be great if you wanna check it every day, or whatever, that's cool, but, but at least twice a week. One of those should be before the start of our um, Monday class, so Sunday night, something like that. Uh, and then there's just an about us. There's nothing about, I don't have anything about you guys yet up there, but a little bit about the class, a little bit about me. And um, so let's go back and look. Again, it's coastal.piratelab.org. So there we go. Um, let's have a quick tour of our syllabus since um, this is again an experiment. I'm not giving you guys a physically printed out syllabus. So I would very much like all the feedback you guys can give me on this. If this sucks, you don't like this, um, it's not useful to you, you want, a traditional printed one. Um, I, I, I'm very curious as to how useful this is or isn't to you. Um, 
We might be making updates throughout the the semester if we change dates. For example, our trip dates I still have yet to set, and so that will be updated. When I do that, I'm going to update this part up here. And it'll say, you know, if it's just a minor thing, nothing big that wouldn't have any implications for deadlines or whatever, I would just. But I changed some spelling or added a link or something like that. That would may, I maybe make it version 1.2. If I added something that like I changed some dates or something of that nature, I would I would say it's you know two point whatever the heck. So that's my thought is to try to let you guys know. I'd also send you guys an email that I updated stuff. But again, tell me how how that works, how that doesn't work, if it sucks, what have you. So the first thing to say, you guys know when we're meeting. First thing to say is that um, uh, our our exam is a take home exam. So all all our written exams in here are all take home. So, but, but they're due at our final exam time. So for your planning for the end of the, you know, getting towards Christmas, uh, uh, essentially at the start of our time, what is it, eight o'clock? So it, we might make it like 8.15 or something. Um, but in that window, you guys come and, and, you know, drop off the material, that's when it's due. If you are need to go on a ski vacation. If this is your only class, you have a final. Everybody, everything else is done the previous week, something like that. It's totally cool if you want to turn your stuff in earlier than that date and time. You just can't turn it in after that date and time. So for your your winter break planning and all that kind of stuff, that's your that that's your date that you're in theory done with uh, with me. Um, a note about office hours. I've switched office hours based on what happened. Uh, last week, can you guys read this? It might be a little small on that screen. Is that better? Um, so uh, I've changed stuff. So we basically sometimes end at noon here, right? Uh, it. I usually teach all morning. I want to get some food, and it takes. And that's noon is obviously when student unions packed and everything. So uh, some people are expecting me to be in my office at twelve oh one, and so. Um, I'll be there as soon as I can afternoon, but I've, I've shifted office hours half an hour just to make sure that I'm definitely there when people um, need to catch me. Um, the other quick note is only for this week at least, um, I'm not really in my office. I'm here in this building because some of our lecturers still don't have access to rooms as apparently those of you in Capstone uh, discovered today when I, was, when I asked Don to open the room for us and apparently he uh, didn't. Um, so. <laughs> So, so I'm hanging out over here so I can help people get into rooms and such. So I'm not in my office this week. I suspect after this week, Paul will be back. Everybody's card should work. I'll be back to having office hours in my office. But um, so this week, if you do need to catch me, I'm just going to be in the other lab. And there's something about the, it's a great lab. I love our new labs. They're awesome. We're super, super lucky to have these things. But as you guys can tell, the door is over there. Right, and we're over here behind these cabinets and stuff. Uh, twice now it's happened where someone is supposed to meet me. Three times actually, somebody's supposed to meet me, and I'm waiting for him, waiting for him, waiting for him. They don't show up, and I send him like, "What's up, dude? Where have you been? Like, you weren't there." And I said, "No, no, no, I've been here." If you knock politely on these doors, you will not be heard, even if you knock moderately, right? So this is not going to be heard inside. You have to ah! That is really what you have to do because the air handle, the, the air movement is such that we just can't hear. So I have my office hours in there, but I'm not sitting in front of the door. So please bang, knock, 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 knock. Also, feel free send me a text. You know, ring my phone to reach me. The other thing to note, purely logistically, for this for our uh, space here is as as we discovered last week. Um, our cell phone coverage is really, really poor in these rooms. So we're working on addressing that, right? We've, we've, had, we've had issues in, and, and I think we're going to get some repeaters, but who knows when that's going to be, two weeks now, three weeks from now, four. So just so you guys know, let's say I'm in my office or in my, in my lab and you're trying to catch me. Um, Here is here's my numbers. So the, this is my cell phone. You guys should all have this cell phone because our, our field trips and stuff, you'll probably need it. But... Um, that's my cell phone. If you guys want to talk to me, call that number. If you want to text me, uh, um, this is my preferred new text number, just because I'm getting like 700 texts a month from you guys now. 
<laughs> and so I'm trying to do a better job of managing stuff. So both these go to my uh, uh, cell phone. But, uh, but I, if you can, please send a text to my 504 number and uh, voice to my 805 number. Cool? All right, great. So uh, I'd like you guys to, once I send you the link and everything is all live, I'd like you guys to go through this, but I just want to go through the syllabus real briefly with you to highlight a few things. Basic course description, uh, learning goals, all things that you guys, um, that you'll be taking away and, and acquiring over the course of the semester. Um, then I have some expectations about uh, you know, being respectful and being on time. I know it's tough on this class. You can't really be early. You have to be here when I'm here because right now we don't have a way to open the door unless I'm here. But still, please be here promptly. Um, and it's especially the case when we have a guest speaker. Right? Really do show up at least a few minutes early. And, and please, um, uh, please be respectful of those folks. Also, whenever we have a guest speaker, or whenever we go out to a, a you know, tour facility or something like that, um, I'd ask you guys to always have two questions that you can ask the person or the, or the people uh, at the site we're gonna go to. And that way, um, it's, it's, of course, if we've been on a tour for an hour and a half and we've been talking about stuff, and the person at the end, if she says, okay, so do we have any questions? And if you guys have any questions, you know, at that point, okay, I can get that. But, but as, it's, it's, it's um, I believe it's rude to go, you know, someone's taking all this time, they come here, they give a talk, any questions? And everybody's quiet, right? No questions is the sign of the death knell. No, no questions is you're boring as hell, and it was super lame, and it was totally not interesting, right? Whereas if somebody, somebody's talking about something interesting, you're like, well, I love vampires. Vampires are the most interesting thing ever, right? And then you, then you go and have a conversation. That, that, was, that was somehow, after my interview on the radio show today, they were talking about vampires, so they were all very excited <laughs> about the vampires. Um, so, uh, so right. So just you know, it's just a common courtesy thing. You know, have have a couple questions or so. Be on time. Have a couple questions. That would be great. Um, and uh, yeah. And so some things can be sort of depressing in some of these situations when we talk about stuff, the state of the world's fisheries and things like that. Um, the goal of this class is not to depress you. I'm not trying to have everyone be sad and go home and and be depressed. Um, so sometimes I might use humor. I'm not trying to offend anyone. I hope I don't say anything offensive, but, but um, sometimes it's important to make light of things. Sometimes it's important to make sure we don't get too down on ourselves or too overly negative. So um, I will not, I will try very hard not to say anything offensive. Uh, if I say something offensive, you should tell me, but, but rather um, humor is one way to battle the negativity and the, and the sadness sometimes we see in some of our, some of our things. Also related to that, I mean, our class is so small, it's not as big a deal when we have a bigger class, but um, I ask everybody to silence your phones. And so the rule is, this goes for me too, if your phone rings or tweets or barks or whatever it does, uh, you guys have to, you have to bring cookies to the next class. So that, I found that to be very effective last year when we started <laughs> doing this. So, um, so yeah, so you can leave your phone on, right? I mean, if, if your sister's about to have a baby or whatever, you can tell me, hey, I might have to take this call, and that's totally cool, of course, but the default Right, we'd be respectful to me and to our fellow students and our, and our, speak, our speaker, speakers silence our, our electronic devices before we come to class. So you guys can keep, keep uh, you know, again, you're going to read all these there. Um, let's go over the course materials. So we're going to have uh, weekly readings posted. Um, we're going to have our uh, blog site. So this right now, this is not right. This is, this is currently pointing to our Scoop It site. But again, we're going to try to get um, our news site here on the web page up and running. So I want you guys to be, you guys need to be posting stories that you see, and, and I'll be posting stories. Um, more on that later, but suffice it to say, there's a little tool you can use if you want from your web browser, so you just click it and it posts it, right? You don't necessarily need to spend a lot of time, it can take 30 seconds, right? It doesn't need to be a big, uh, I mean, you could, you, if you want to do a, a detailed one, that'd be awesome, but the idea with this news blog is to just sort of stay abreast of information, not necessarily spend the weekend writing a tome on erosion or something like that. Um, so here, here are some of the uh, texts that we'll be going through that are not online. So one is Living with Changing California Coast. And uh, I was, I, Dr. Patch is now a professor with us, right? And, and we were interviewing, I was thinking, 
is this the same? That name sounds familiar. Actually, when I was going through the thing, it turns out so she's one of the co-authors of this book that we've been using for the last couple of years. So that's pretty cool. Um, or actually, uh, editors. I should say co-editors. Uh, and so, uh, so that there's that that bad boy. Then there's the outlaw. And so this is more one that we'll we'll read parts of that that apply to us. It'd be great if you guys want to read the whole thing. But these are edited chapters, and so uh, we'll be uh, looking at some of those. Then we have the Outlaw C, which is an awesome book. Um, so if you guys have not gotten these books, please get these now. Um, the Outlaw C and the C around us will be reading the whole thing. The, the, they're, they're, they're not set up as chapters. I mean, they're not edited chapters. They're actual you know, authors wrote these books, obviously. Has anybody read the C around us yet? Okay. Okay. Okay, cool. So, uh, but, but for, I mean, for us. Oh, so beforehand you read it. Okay, cool. Oh, right, right. But I mean, but I was saying, before class, has anybody read it? Oh, yeah. Have you guys read um, any other Rachel Carson? Just, just sort of excerpts kind of thing? Yeah. So this is the book that she got famous for. Silent Spring is the book that everybody knows her for, right? That, that was the DDT, that was the eggshell thinning, that was the, the um, pesticide story. But her, her, her birth as a natural historian was <clears throat> in the ocean and on the coast. And so she wrote a, a, a triplicate set of books about the ocean. And that's really where the public first, they're like, oh, this is an awesome writer, incredibly you know, articulate, and all this and that. Um, she was a copyright writer for, not copyright, that's not, I don't know if that's right, but a you know, sort of pamphlet kind of, kind of writer for Fish and Wildlife Service. And someone said, hey, you should actually do more than just like a pamphlet or two. And so she started writing these books. So we'll check that out. So this is old. I mean, this was, this was originally published, you know, before I was born. This is the most revised edition, which is, you know, even so is still 20 odd years old. Um, but it, it's still uh, great in terms of contextualizing and, and, and thinking um, about the sea. And then um, William Languishi's book is great. And so this one, um, we'll also be reading essentially the whole thing, although I'll, I have d more directed um, chapters at a time. But this is a great book. This is a great book to talk about what's actually going on in the ocean. So he is not an academic. He's a writer. Um, and this book is really about all the varied things that are going on. Shipbreakers in India. Um, why it is that, that ships are breaking open in the ocean. Um, um, fisheries. All this kind of uh, stuff from... Um, and it reads like a, a spy novel. It's, it, it's really like, it's like a thriller almost kind of thing. He's an excellent writer. And you won't know you're learning about pirates and things like that until you've, uh, you've sort of gotten into it. So it's great. Uh, and then, and so, okay, so those are things you guys should buy if you haven't gotten them at this point. And has anybody tried to get the books? There's another, there's another one showing how old. Has anybody tried to get the books at the bookstore? Right. Does anybody get books at the bookstore anymore? Yeah. If Aspen is forced to, she'll get it at the bookstore. Yeah. So, so I just, just so I know for my own, what would be great is maybe I'll put up a little, a little poll thing. When, after you guys get your books, just tell me if these prices are what you guys paid. Do you guys mostly get used books? And so you guys are using, so you use Amazon? 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 Oh yeah, that's cool, that's cool. But so, but so you prefer a bookstore? Yeah, Amazon. Amazon? Because I can put the link to Amazon, but I kind of feel like, oh my God, it's like the, it's like the massive octopus that just everybody uses Amazon. So I try, to, I try to put all like you know independent bookstores and stuff here when when I can. But um, I should probably put a link to Amazon too. Okay, <laughs> I see, I see how it is. Um, okay, and now these are things that you guys don't have to get, um, but would be helpful, but you don't have to get. Um, and so uh, one would be elements of technical writing, and this is what I have all my classes get. So Capstone, Cons Bio, whoever. And this is a nice little reference. It's super cheap. It's small. So we're not gonna, I'm not going to have any assigned readings per se in it, but if you guys um, have, don't f feel like you don't have a super strong background in technical writing, it's a great little reference. And it, you know, examples, this is how I write this, this is how I do that. Uh, and the used books will be even cheaper than that. And then this one is the coast, California Coastal Access. I think, I think there's a revise. I think I have to check if the 2003 year is right, but it, I wrote it twice, so I guess <laughs> I don't know if it's right or not. 
this is a reference guide that's basically how to get to the coast. Okay, and um, it's it's quite good, and it's it's sort of it's the Bible of figuring out how if you want to go up the central coast, if you want to go down south, where are the beaches, where are the camping sites, where are the coastal access points, that kind of stuff. Um, and so it's not something you'd read per se, but it's a great thing to have on your shelf if you guys are planning on staying in California and you guys like the coast. Um, uh, related to that, which I have not posted these up yet, but um, uh, who, who, has, who has an iPhone? Okay. And then you guys that don't have iPhone, do you guys have Droid powered? And what do you, Vanessa, what do you have? Oh, you do have an iPhone. Okay. So... So almost everybody has an iPhone. Uh, okay, cool. So I'll put up links. Um, uh, one, one great app, which I don't know if it's available for Droid. It should be. I know our Spanish language version is coming out, but a similar thing is um, called Malibu Coastal Access. Yeah. Uh, it is. Okay, great. Okay, great. Perfect. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So with these apps that I'll, I'll put up, most of them you don't just like they're, they're considered suggested things you don't have to get them by any means but i would you know they might help us in our trips or in our thinking about stuff um, and the malibu coastal access one's a great one and, and we'll talk more about that when we get to the coastal access but um uh that's a cool one uh and then some other suggestions would be um in some cases these are just uh list servers news uh, email uh, occasional email things that come in that sort of summarize the news. I, I get a lot of mine, a lot of things that I don't have time to read all the papers and find about. I, I get from these sources, so these are great. Um, one that's also particularly interesting and in some cases a contrasting view with some of the stuff we talk about is uh, Pacific Fishing News. And so that, that one you do have to subscribe to, but you know, it's, it's relatively cheap. So, um, so yeah, so these are all optional things. I have some I have some notes here on how to do uh, you know how to be active learners and stuff how to be professional um, and our default our default format as per our question earlier our default format was um, or is uh, printed right is print the thing submit the thing and that's all taken um, as we go into the semester and I'm more confident that the website might work, we might do some alt, we might do some more electronically submitted stuff. But our default, unless I say differently, is to submit things like your reading summaries in printed form. Okay. When it comes to your exams, your exams are going to be both. Uh, I do want those printed because I take me a long time to read through all those and write comments and stuff on. Those will be printed and submitted electronically, and those will be submitted. That's one of the few uses of Blackboard still. Uh, for me, is uh, to submit to turn it in, and so it'll check for you know silly plagiarism, which I'm sure none of you guys will do. But um, but yeah. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. So this is the breakdown of our this is the breakdown of our gra of our grades. So final is 15 percent. So check it out. Our opinion poll and our seafood study are 20 percent. So together those things are 40 percent. I understand. I, I know all the lore about this class, and it's there's so many polls you have to do. And so it's so hard. And I get that. So half of your grade, half of each of these grades, half, you know, so 10% and 10% is just collecting the data. So collecting the data is, is half, doing the write-up is half the points. So if you, if you just do the, the required, you've already got 50% of the points. You've got, you've got an F to start with before you even write a single thing, before you graph a single thing, right? And so that's both because I understand it's a huge amount of work. I get it. I, I totally get it. That's by design. But also... Um, we can't do this activity unless everybody, everybody um, contributes. And in this class, it's going to be much more important. We're so small. So if half of you guys decide not to do the polls, it's, it's going to kind of screw over everybody else, right? So that's why So I, I acknowledge that. I recognize that. But just realize that you're getting a lot of credit for doing this, this work. Um, I think we have midterm and then participation and, and general stuff, reading summaries, et cetera. We will have quizzes. Starting um, probably starting Wednesday, the next class session. So um, our quizzes are unannounced. <laughs> I just announced it. What is it? Unannounced. But one, generally speaking, one a week. Usually at the start of class, and these are so are because I don't give you guys. I hate giving tests. I hate I hate tests with a passion. The only thing worse than 
taking a test is actually having to write and grade a test. <laughs> um, so, but we have to, have to do something, right? So you guys have take home exams uh, for the sort of big content picture. They're take home exams, but you guys, and so you guys need to treat them as a hardcore thing. So yes, you can use whatever you want, because you're not, you know, you can, except for your fellow students. Um, but you need to reference everything, right? So it needs to be properly referenced. It needs to be, you know, so that so the, the tests are sort of big picture. What's going on with fisheries, right? What's going on with coastal erosion? That kind of stuff, right? Where you guys get a chance to show me that you understand these things you've been talking about for the last, whatever, month and a half, two months, or whatever it is. Um, what I found, though, after doing this for a few years, is sometimes people, that's all they focus on. And they, they don't bother learning some of the dates. They don't bother learning some of the terms and stuff. because So the quizzes are my response to that. So quizzes are a way for me to make sure you guys are keeping up with the reading, that you're, you are learning the terminology and the this and that. And so the quizzes are short. They're only going to be about five, 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 you know, five, ten minutes. And it's a one-page thing, and there's maybe ten 10 different things and it's fill in the blank or it's define this thing or it's true or false, that, that kind of stuff. Of our, of our recent stuff, so generally the stuff over the past week or so. Sometimes I'll throw in some questions from previous quizzes to make sure you guys haven't forgotten some stuff, but generally it's just the most recent stuff. So if we're on a field trip, it would probably emphasize the field trip stuff. If we just had a, a guest speaker, it would probably have a couple questions from something that speakers spoke about kind of thing. Um, cool? Reading summaries where we talked about, uh, guest speakers, da, 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 field trips. Yeah, so the big thing with field trips when we start going field trips is just, um, I do expect you guys always to be ready to go. And so uh, that means, depending on where we're going, if we're going to downtown LA, you know, just wear whatever. But if we're going up, up to, out to the beach or something, you know, appropriate gear, sun protection, sunscreen, water bottle, whatever. So I do, prepare, I do expect you guys to be prepared when we, when we do go out and about. Um, the one thing to say about that is uh, it, it might be, it seems to change every year. Some places don't allow you guys to take photographs. Some of the places we may or may not go. 99% of them do allow photos. If that's the case, I'll let you know. But generally speaking, uh, you guys can take photos. So you're, I know mo almost everybody just can use your phone to take pictures because that's how you guys roll. Um, and that's, that's totally cool, uh, but it's also cool if you guys wanted to bring, you know, a nicer camera, a little, a little, little um, you know, better quality with some of the flash or something like that. And that, that is uh, totally appropriate. And I actually encourage that. So when we're doing stuff, we see an example of some crazy eroding cliff, let's say, you can, you can grab a picture of that and have that, um, and, and that'd be great. Uh, da, 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 da. The rest of the stuff we'll talk about later, public opinion we'll talk about later. Um, right. So just to be clear, uh, you guys don't cheat. I, don't, I hope you guys don't cheat, nobody will cheat. Um, don't plagiarize. Uh, generally speaking, whenever something isn't from you guys, say where it comes from. That, that's a great thing. So for example, here is a cartoon I have that I don't know where I got it from. So I don't know, it's unknown. That's a bad example, why the hell did I show that one? Okay, so but this one here, <laughs> this one, uh, this guy, so you know the, the, the author, the source, right? If it came from a, a specific website or whatever, you guys put the website in. So that's a that's a um, standard academic policy you guys should all know about and be familiar with. But I've noticed sometimes in our in our Instagramming era and our Facebooking era and stuff like that, um, you guys have you guys have um, gotten away gotten away from that sort of. So so I'm just going to make sure you guys, whenever you say something, tell me the source of it. If, it's, if you guys don't say the source of it, I'm assuming it's from you. So for example, if we're in, on a test, if you're gonna use something from, I don't know, today's lecture or next week's lecture from mine, you just say, you know, da, 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 and then Dr. Anderson and the date, right? Or, or you know, in class lecture, da, 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 you know, that kind of thing. So just get the habit of always showing your sources. And that'll make you guys a much more successful uh, person as you go in the future if you get in that habit of always reference, always reference, always reference. Um, yeah, and then, um, so don't cheat, and uh, the, yeah, don't cheat. 
right? Uh, if, you, if anybody needs any uh, issues or has any issues with disability accommodation services, please uh, go see those guys. Go, go get in touch with those guys and, and talk to them. Even if you guys don't have any disabilities yourself, I encourage everybody to always go over there, start of each semester, and just turn in your class um, schedule, class schedule. And so maybe, um, so I, I did this as an undergrad. I, I used to get paid to do this, um, which was take notes for folks. So some folks just need a little bit of help in terms of that they can't take notes as fast as other folks or what have you. And, um, and that's not necessarily something we'd announce to other uh, students. But if you go talk to those guys, say, hey, I have this intro chemistry class. I have this, this, and that. And they might say, hey, actually, we're looking for someone to be a note taker in this. Would you mind doing that? You, I don't know how much you get paid, but you get paid a little something, something. And, um, and so that would be a, a, great, a great thing for you guys to do. Um, and then basically, yeah, the, the, the key thing over the years that I've seen, the most important thing is if you guys uh, just make sure you finish stuff on time. That's the biggest, uh, the biggest dealio. In